Hi everyone, this is Ravi and you are welcome to my YouTube channel Easy Way to Learn. Today in this video, I'm going to explain you about the different documents which we are using in, you know, robotic process automation. Might be you are using different tools like Automation Anywhere, UI Path or Blue Prism. However, these documents are uh, same for all the, uh, you know, tools, whatever we are using to automate any particular task. So I'm going to explain you what is PDD and what is STD. So let me give you a brief in information about the PDP, PDD, I'm sorry. So a process design document is basically a document outlines the steps necessary to complete the task or a particular process, okay. So it is a process level document and it will describe how the user is performing that particular task or a process. So basically it will give you the details of the task or process step by step okay so basically uh, we can uh, call this pdd as a user level document also so whatever information okay uh, uh, at the time of uh, designing this process document we are capturing that should be you know step by step information okay so now coming back to std so solution design document so std is all about you know how the bot is going to process that particular task okay so basically in this document you are going to get the details about okay how the bot is handling or how the bot is going to handle the you know any error or any other scenarios while bot is moving to production so i mean pdd will give you the step by step details the way the user is doing the things however at the time of developing your bot you should follow the solution design document so these two documents will be not same okay so solution design document will be as per your, uh, you know, bot development steps, like uh, you have to add extra steps like error handling, email notification, or other requiring steps, which will help you to, you know, uh, complete the task with the 100% uh, accuracy. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, the PDD and the SDD along, I mean, with the uh, examples. Okay, so let me show you that Excel. Then I'll uh, show you other details. Okay. So basically, this is the Excel. You can see here uh, in first tab, I have mentioned the process design uh, details. Okay. So before going uh, into the details, let me uh, show you uh, about the process. Okay. What uh, all about this document? Okay. So basically, uh, this process is based on the bot is uh, going to you know uh, create a vendor account. So bot is going to get a data or the input file via email okay which bot needs to read your email incoming emails and that uh, excel file uh, needs to store in your local drive okay then bot will log into this particular website uh, this is web based application and it will follow the necessary steps to create a vendor account so basically bot will uh, come to, after logging into this uh, web based application bot will click on purchase then you can see here that vendor tab is there okay so once it will uh, click on vendor tab it will open a box okay like uh, if i click here add a vendor so you can see here like uh, it is asking for some information to create or the complete the vendor account creation okay so you know once it will done like account uh, creation will done uh, bot will update that excel as you know uh, uh, along with the status like pass fail pass fail and and at the end you know bot will uh, save that excel and it will send an email as attachment so this is the small overview about this process okay now coming back to the excel where i have mentioned the details okay so first what you have to do you have to uh, be careful while uh, developing this document so basically process design document is provided by the end user or the business analyst okay so you should have you know these are the mandatory columns uh, it should be there in process design document you can uh, you know it is it is vary from process to process so they they might include other columns also to uh, provide you the more details about the process so uh, these are the columns like you know you have to mention the process name okay uh, sub process if any reference number okay process step detail comments or the system uh, use okay Right. So this is the process like uh, process name is uh, it's vendor account creation. Uh, I do not have any sub uh, process or sub steps here. 
so you can see here uh, in this particular process bot is going to download the email attachment uh, that is in the excel form and it will save into a shared drive then bot will logged into this particular website okay then it will go to required tab then it will you know uh, start uh, creating the vendor accounts by uh, reading data from that particular excel once information will update then uh, you know vendor account creation will be done after completing uh, account creation bot will uh, update that you know status column as pass fail pass fail okay then next bot has to uh, i mean uh, the person has to save that excel in a different format or as per the business requirement okay which is also mentioned here then finally what we have to do we have to save that excel after renaming then we have to send that uh, attach excel via email to the concerned team member then we have to log out from the system and close the window you can see here we are having you know other information like input excel name should be uniform okay and we have to use the correct username and password to enter into that particular website in f column you can see like system use like uh, we have uh, included all those applications whatever we are using while processing this uh, particular request or the process okay so this is all about a process design document now coming back to solution design document so as i mentioned like solution design document will give you the you know information about how the bot is going to process or how the bot is going to work in prod environment or your uat or sit environments okay so you can see here like uh, in in this particular uh, solution design document you will have more information so the developer can understand the actual requirement once they will start building the process okay so now you can see like uh, bot will access the specific mailbox and it will save the attachment on a daily basis as this is the daily process you can see in comment it is mentioned like uh, you know bot will download the attach excel from the specific mailbox so mailbox subject should be always same in case if your subject is getting changed regularly there is then then you know your bot will definitely not able to read that particular email and it will uh, might it might throw an error okay okay now coming to like uh, you know the next step is you have to log into uh, bot has to log into that particular website so you can see in comment the user credential the uh, basically credential details should be stored in you know automation anywhere control room uh, in a credential manager so developer can access uh, directly uh, by using the automation anywhere enterprise client now other details like go to purchase tab okay uh, fill the required information once it will done like uh, you know required information is uh, it's nothing but like uh, you know vendor name email address their phone numbers and all those details we have to update in that particular website once it will done we have to uh, you know save that excel uh, after uh, doing the rename okay then next what we have to do we have to log out from that particular website and we have to uh, you know send that uh, details via email you can see here in this particular column uh, we have mentioned like you know the email will send to this particular xyz email address so basically uh in, in solution design document you you should have the you know concerned team or the concerned person's email address where you want to send the details okay now coming back to the error handling part okay so you are uh, while developing any task make sure you are uh, you are including this error handling or the exception handling mandatory okay so in case if any error is going to happen in future or while running your bot then you know bot will a trigger an email notification and it will take the screenshot okay it can do other like it, it can uh, create a log file okay where it error happened and all those details so basically this exception handling will help you uh, to analyze or identify the you know reason of the error so so by taking the screenshot we can understand in which line error happened and what was the reason of the error okay. so uh, in in this particular page also you can see like uh, uh, system use I have mentioned like you know outlook web application and the excel okay so one more thing guys i just wanted to uh, share uh, with this video like uh, uh, this is like process design document and solution design document along with that i have created one uh, small you know uh, high level document also so let me explain you the same process i am going to show you uh, with the you know uh, high level design document so basically you can see here bot is getting start from this particular uh, 
a place it will read uh, the in, in you know first it will read the environment file environment input file so basically environment input file is it's it's all about the you know uh, you are reading or saving uh, data into a local drive or in your you are storing the email of the person where uh, you are sending any error related emails or uh, the attachment of the completion of your task so make sure you are uh, using note notepad or uh, excel as your environment file so you are not allowed to uh, i mean you are not supposed to hard code it anything like especially you know the shared drive path or the email address okay so it's better to store those details in uh, environment file so in case if any code changes is needed so you don't need to go to all the times to uh, make changes in your code so a good thing about this environment file is in case of any changes i mean you can go ahead and make the changes in this particular file so next you can see here bot has to access that specific mailbox to download that particular email so in case if email is found bot will process this many steps in case if email is not found in bot as per the process bot will stop the process and it will send the email notification to concern team so this is all about you know uh, i mean i have tried to uh, capture the small information about uh, the high level design document you can see here this is like step by step uh, graphical details i have uh, uh, shown here so you can understand the process in better way so uh, i mean here i have not included the error handling part as i already uh, described that error handling part along with the you know sdd or uh, documents so uh, this is all about uh, this uh, video just i uh, wanted to share you about uh, these documents and this is the request came from one of the my viewer and they requested to create a video based on this i hope you are uh, i mean this video will help you to understand the concept of uh, these documents which we are using in day to day work while developing or running our bots so Uh, guys one request like uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, to get more rp related videos in case if you have any questions any concern i would request you to kindly go ahead and post in comment section or if you have any query or if you want me to make any specific video on your request so it, it i i would be very happy to create those type of video in case if you have any request you can go ahead and post in the comment section Once again thank you so much for uh, watching this video thank you very much